Hi, this is Naveen from Informatica Support. Today I would like to help you how to configure data security in IDD application. This is the agenda I have for you which will help you to understand what is data security, why it is needed and also supportability aspects that we need to ensure to enable this data security, how to configure it, what are the important characteristics of data security and the different areas in ID application that we can leverage the functionality of data security. I will, I will help you to understand or to better understand what is data security and why it is needed with a real-time use case. Consider an organization runs their business around the globe and they have data stewards scattered across the uh, across different geos and company came up with a new policy saying that the data has to be restricted based on geos. Say for example uh, a US data stewards or the US data stewards should should be able to access only US data. Similarly, India data stewards should be able to access only India data. So this is one of the important use cases we have seen in many organizations. Let us go with the next use case. Com organization would like to restrict the data based on the data stewards role. Like for example, for every organization there is a hierarchy in, in their organization. So consider a lead data steward should have access to the complete data details, companies, companies complete business data. Whereas the, the normal or the junior data steward should have access only for the partial details like personal details may, may be, they should not be shown the complete details. So this use case, I hope it, it, it help you to understand why data security is needed and what exactly this data security mean. Let me jump on to the supportability concepts. Uh, we can enable this data security in IDA application based on exact values. The reason why I am highlighting it as exact values is it will not work, work for wildcard search. Like I cannot write a condition or a data security filter uh, with a wildcard or a fuzzy column. And next is the attributes can be from subject area, child subject area and or grandchild subject area. So that means if you have a, a, a data condition or the filter condition to be applied, it is not that you need to go with the subject area or the primary subject area columns. You can also uh, extend or you can also use the attributes which are available in child and grandchild subject area. And the supported data types are string, integer and float. How to configure this data security? First, we need to identify the attributes that can filter the entities as per the business use case. Uh, as I told you one of the example, if the organization has decided to restrict the data based on the geo, so if there is a column like country, then I can filter, I can write a filter saying that if country code equal to US, then this data has to be shown only for US, US data stewards. So to apply that condition, we need to find out the right attributes which can help, help us to enable this data security. Next is we need to create roles so that the data security we apply has to be mapped with roles so that the corresponding users have this data security applied. And Again, it is uh, the association or the mapping that we do between roles and the condition. Uh, condition is nothing but the data security filter. Redeploy this IDD application and you should see the IDD application having this data security enabled. Let me walk through a quick demo how to enable this data security configuration. I have created a very basic schema model which is having a customer which is the parent table for uh, the schema model and address is its child and I have created three roles one is super user and the other one is US data steward and the third one is India data steward so these are the three roles I have created two users and also I mapped them so this is the assigned users or groups to role India data steward I have created a u user India DS IND DS and similarly US data steward I created a user USDS admin he has the super, he is the super user. Uh, hope you are clear with the hub configuration. Let me go to the IDD configuration tool. Uh, to save some time, I have created the IDD application and make it ready for the demo. Uh, I have created the subject area, customer and a child subject area under it, address. Okay. 
Okay, let me re-log in. <coughs> Data security. Customer subject area and address subject area. So to highlight one more thing here, the data security can be applied only at parent or the, or the primary subject area level. That means you can use the attributes at child subject area and grandchild subject area, but the filtration should be done at the primary entity level or the pri primary subject area level. So to configure it, these the customer subject area I have created. I am editing the subject area. and you can see a data security tab here. Click on this. I have configured two data security filters already. So before explaining them, I will show you how to add a new one. So here you can see the add, add button. Click on this add. It will bring up a new window. This match path component will help you to fill, uh, select the attributes. So root is nothing but my primary subject area. Uh, cast address is like when I select this cast address, it will show me the attributes from child address subject area or address BO. Similarly, if you have a grandchild, when you select the grandchild, it will show up all the columns in the grandchild subject area. So after selecting, let's like say country, say country equal to UK and say super is usually applicable. Okay. Okay. So I have created two other roles. Uh, let me explain them just to be clear. Okay. So here you can see I have used the address address column or address base object country column. If country equal to US, then it should be applicable for super user and US data steward. Similarly, if country equal to India, India data steward and super user. So I have the IDD application already deployed to save the time and let me launch the IDD application directly. First, I will show you what is the data I have created in this uh, IDD application. I am logging as admin admin uh, is nothing but admin user who has the complete access on the data. So I have created a, a query and without any filter I am firing a search. So you can see all the records that are available in this customer address combination or customer base object. So here if you see there are two records which belongs to India and the other two records with US. So as I have already enabled the data security for US data steward and India data steward, if I log in as India data, India data steward now. So my India data steward user is INDDS. Going to the data tab. There is already a saved query. Let me open this query. Fire a search. So just to help you, so I have I logged in as India Data Steward, and you can see here that I can see only India data. Okay. So let me log in as US Data Steward now quickly. USDS. data open this guy open query fire a search without any filter and you can see the data which belongs to only US has been uh, fetched in the search result okay let me go back to demo to discuss few of the imp other important uh, concepts. Okay, so this one we have covered. Let me go to the. So many of the users has a confusion or have a confusion when they have multiple data security filters available or multiple roles assigned to a single user where there is data security for each role. So let me start with the first one. If there are multiple data security filters assigned to a role 
then it will apply as an AND condition. For example, if I created the condition as country code equal to US and state code equal to CA and I assigned it to a role, then if, if I logged in as a user who, who was associated with California data steward role, then if I perform the search, it will check for the data which is having the country code equal to US and state code equal to CA. If there are records which are having country code equal to US but state code is different and similarly records with state code equal to CA and state country code is different, those records will not be shown because here it, here it is going for AND condition. The records which satisfies both country code equal to US and state code equal to CA only will be fetched. Similarly, uh, the other use case, multiple roles with data security filter. Say I have a US, consider the say example here, US data steward role, I have applied that country code equal to US, India data steward, country code equal to India. When these two roles where I have applied data security with different condition, these two roles if I assign to a user, global user, then if the if, if a user who is associated or, or this user when he logs into id application filter for that record it will go for union like select all the records which are which which are having the country code equal to us union uh, select all the records which are having the country code equal to india so it will go for union so when there is multiple roles with data security filter assigned to a single user it will go for union for the same role, if you have multiple conditions added, it will go for AND condition. Hope I have cleared your confusion. Let me jump on to the next one. Data security is applicable uh, at different areas in ID application, like say entity data view. That means when you try to open the record, it will see whether you are whether you have the access or whether you are eligible for viewing this data. So it is apply, applicable applied at data view level, at HM view, that is hierarchy view, search result and there is an option where you can go to history. In history also it will restrict the data and it will show only the data where your role is mapped to or associated to. And task, when you have a task created on multiple records and if only if you have that access to both the records only then the task will be opened otherwise you will get an uh, warning message saying that you are not eligible or you are, you are you are restricted to see the data so this is additional information uh, these are the kb articles you can refer where you can get much information about data security and there is some uh, basic level of how to configure and this you can find it in idd implementation guide hope you uh, got at least an idea how we can configure data security, why it is needed, what are the different characteristics that has to be taken care when you want to enable data security. We would like to hear from you the, your valuable feedback which will help us to create uh, better, vid better videos. Thanks for your time watching this video. You have a nice day. Bye.